Well, it is Sunday afternoon, and Jill and I decided to come back up to Camp Alvarez and just chill for the afternoon. Just kind of be lazy and sit in the shade up here and enjoy the breeze and let the dogs just kind of roam now that all the cow poop is dried up and not in camp anymore. It's a much safer place, although we do have horse nuggets. Some of the guys that are hunting next to us have horses and there's the road apples, but so far Hank's leash won't go that far. Hey Bo, you're the one we have to worry about rolling around in it. So far he's staying pretty clean. They did just get a bath too. They just got a bath? Friday? Was it Friday? Friday. Irrigation day. Oh yeah, irrigation. Irrigation day means bath day. So far, the hunt has been a lot of more camping and hiking than anything. We've seen a good share of animals. Um, a lot of does. A lot of fawns. Uh, no bucks yet. Well, that's not true. We've seen them. We just haven't been able to get and put a hunt on them yet. Uh, seen a couple elk with big racks. Only one or two cows, two, two or three cows, but they're too far to be able to put an arrow into. It's really hard to not get discouraged, but we're not gonna let it get us down. We're only nine days into the hunt and we still got a another couple weeks to go so we're just learning our area and then we're gonna do better from here on out although we are breaking up this camp Alvarez here because with work schedules and everything we won't have much time to camp so we're gonna have to go hit places that we can drive to in the morning or in the evening and hunt so that's probably the reason why we're sitting up here just to enjoy camp because it's been a lot of in and out going up hunting and stuff and channel then you know that we recently just finished up uh, the Cache Valley cruise in. Um, that's usually the first time we take the trailer out for the season and this year I don't know why it just seemed so so tiny. So Brandon and I talked about it and uh, we have an awesome sponsor for the cruise in, um, Mountain Land RV and they um, Sponsor the trailers that the bands uh, stay in and one of the trailers that they brought down this year we really really liked both of us and so we talked um, about possibly trading ours in and getting a new one and uh, without Brandon knowing I kind of sort of did it on the slide and so here we are brand new trailer um, so we're gonna see if Brandon will let us in and support Hey, welcome to our crib. Come on in, I'll give you a tour. Right here, we have the front lobby. So when you come in, if you're, come on in. If you uh, are hungry, boys, wait out here for a minute. You can stop by the local pantry on the way in, grab a treat. We got golden Oreos. We got lemon drizzled baby bumps. We got chips, we got Skittles, my favorite, Mike and Ike. So, plenty of stuff to eat there. You probably drove in a long way, so if you, if you did drive in, before you want to sit down and get comfortable, you can stop in at the bathroom. We're going to take a potty break. If it was a really stinky ride, you can take a quick shower. Um, but, yep. So, you're going to have to take three steps to get into our trailer. You can already have a snack and use the bathroom. 
So this is Jill's and my seat. This is where we kick up, take our feet up, relax. These do kick out, recline. This is the entertainment system, TV. I think that's like a 240 inch TV with the Blu-ray player. We also have the stereo system with the speakers that are running throughout the house. So very nice. This is where we do all of our fine dining. Lobster tails, king crab legs, elk meat, deer meat. I wish elk meat and deer meat, but not yet. That'll come. I wish crab legs and lobster tails, but not yet. So this is where you can put all your frozen meals or ice cream, whatever you want. And then this is, of course, the refrigerator. You got to have all your beverages and your eggs and your this is jill's must Reese's bars so this is for the boys hank and bo they always like to have a wiener to hit on and this right here is our stove this can just hold up here we can make it all of our meals if you realize you need more counter space and this will pull down and gives you more counter space. This here's the sink. These obviously can just pull up. You can use the nice wide sink to wash. It even comes with water in it. How's that? After you're done whining and dining and entertaining and everything, this goes into the master suite right here. There's plenty of mood lighting in here. You can set the tone for whatever you're in the mood for, whether it's sleep or activities of whatever kind. This would be where my clothes go. My sock drawer, my underwear drawer. Over on this side, this would be Jill's, where her clothes go. Her breath mints drawer. And her underwear drawer. And then right here, this takes you down into the laundry chute, or if Hank and Bo are being bad, we can drop them down in there and they can chill out there. So we do have this emergency exit in case the trailer should catch on fire and the rear of the trailer is fully engulfed and we can't get out. We can open this window, knock the screen out and climb out to our safety. So, yep, anyways, this is our new trailer. So, thanks for being part of it. And now I'm gonna let you guys get on your way and I'm gonna kick my feet up and relax. Thanks, guys.
his collarbone and then he had to have surgery and that made it so Joe could come up to camp so otherwise we'd been camp until tomorrow but plans change yeah so he broke the same collarbone that he broke in November at the state game he broke in his game a week a week and two days ago had surgery this past Wednesday so had to stay home and take care of him but anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one